Hey guys, I'm in an attic and today I'm not making a comment about whether or not these are effective other than the, <laughs> that's Riley in the background. He's howling because I'm up in the attic and he can't get to me. We are installing the Scorpion LX15, I think that's what it's called, UV light. There's lots of controversy about whether or not they are actually effective. But today's video is just to show you how to install one. So we're going to try that. Here we go. I don't have a ton of room here. Alright, let's see. Looks like we could put one right here. Let's look at what's in the box real quick. Alright. I've already looked at this and I think we can create a hole big enough with a big um unibit. But what I'm looking at right now is that little outline. So I really have only one spot to put it. Unless I could... It's going to have to be right there, but you know what? I'm not certain I can get that in because of this. Maybe if I come in at an angle or something. Riley, it's okay. Let's try it. I got hot shavings landing on me. All right. That's where this piece comes in. Don't tell me my hole saw is not big enough. I mean, my unit bit. There we go. These are self-tapping screws. I have the version that runs off of 24 volts. It's actually 18, 18 to 32. Riley, it's okay. When I get done, we'll um go talk to Riley for a little while. Mm-hmm. 
All right, take these self tapping screws and tap in there. <clears throat> Don't tell me they sent me. Don't tell me they sent me screws that are neither five sixteenths or a quarter. Let's see if I can get one started. I don't know what size that is. I'm using five sixteenths and a quarter. What in the world? All right, see, these are the this is a quarter I'm trying to fit it in right here. Don't fit. It's okay, boy. And this is the 5 sixteenths. So needless to say, I'm fixing to go get some 5 sixteenths self tappers. I have no idea what size that's supposed to be, but it ain't working. Come here, boy. See, ain't nothing wrong. I'm just up in the attic working. All right, these are my screws. I know they're 5 sixteenths. What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Y'all excuse my language. Is that now a side that I can put in where I can't get a screw in? It blocks off the switch. Make sure that switch to on. And we'll try again because now I got a hole in the side of my air handler. I'm leaving the switch turned to on. The switch is over there but I'm leaving it turned on for a reason because I'm gonna wire this up to green and common. I don't know if I'm a good believer in this thing or not. I mean, just the quality of it. All right, my blower's starting up. I got this hot attic open to the house and <clears throat> all right so this needs to come over here there is a switch that makes it cycle like if it's got 24 volts continuously and just on so when it gets power, I want it to be on. Oh my word, is there no place for me to... Mm -hmm. Trying to get y'all to see what I'm seeing. So what we need to do is wire one of the wires here. Mm -hmm. All right, what am I... Let me see what I'm looking at here. Blue. Brown should be common. Oh, that breaks yellow. All right, those are my two speeds. And this yellow switch goes to this and then we have 
my SS2 that goes to that. Okay. So I just need to make a hole where I can bring this in. <laughs> Preferably not in here. I don't have a good hole right there right now. So I'm going to put one up here. <laughs> all right <clears throat> that's enough for right now let's work on wiring this up okay first this like I said before, this is the one that does 24 volts. Got that one. <laughs> Y'all hear my dog? He's whining. He's not just whining because he can't get to me. My wife's at the doctor's office and he's used to somebody being here. Okay, that's the light. Not super bright. But it doesn't have to be, does it? Oh, I got it in backwards. Yeah. 
All right. So that is installed. It's only going to work when the fan is running. There you go. All right. So in the past, all I have really seen those UV lights do is maybe help keep the drain pan clean. But as far as killing microbes in the air and stuff like that, that's open for debate. And some people say it's not open and say it don't work at all. But um, if you want to install one of those, your customer is asking for one. That's the roundabout way to do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.